Okay, I think we're good now. I was just trying to go live outside and I kept getting notices that my connection was poor or whatever. So we're inside now, this is my house. Um, I'm in the living room, I'm usually in my office, but uh, I wanted to talk about your goals and how we have to make sure that we are keeping our goals in mind um, whenever we're doing anything in our businesses, especially when we're telling our story, when we're you know, working from that place where we need to share, um, because you don't wanna let anything derail your goals. You wanna keep that focus in mind, stay on that path and keep moving forward. Um, so I wanted to kind of back up a little bit here and talk first about why you're writing your book. Because your goal around you know sharing your story, writing your book, either one of those things, um, has to be your own. It can't be somebody else's. Um, and what prompted this was, uh, I was talking to someone last night who said, I have this story, you know, I, I overcame this, and everybody tells me I should write a book. And she seemed nervous about it. She seemed like she wasn't ready. Um, she said she tries to write and then she, she was crying. She was upset about the story too. And I said, okay, let's start with this. Do you want to write a book? Do you actually want to? And she just kind of looked at me like, well, I mean, I, I should write this. And I said, should. If people keep telling you, you should write a book, then Maybe that's a suggestion that you should think about, but that's definitely not something you have to do. You choose to write a book. You choose to do things. You choose, you're in control. You're the one who's deciding what to do in your life. So if that book feels icky, if it feels like it's not something you wanna handle right now, if you don't feel like telling your story right now, you choose, you, you get to decide. Uh, so, I want to start with that, you know, is this something you should do or is this something you want to do? Because when that desire comes from deep in here, that's when the story gets out. It's not when somebody says, oh, go ahead and do this and now do this and now do this. Um, you know, we're all programmed that way from childhood. You go to class, you do your work, you get good grades, you come home, you go do this, you go do that. Um, you know, those are all shoulds. and if you feel like writing a book is a should or sharing your story is a should, then you have to take a hard look at it and decide, is this really what I want to do? So from there, if the answer is yes, if there's a big yes in your heart and you know that you want to write your story, you want to share it, you want to get out there in a big way, that is your goal that you need to look at. And you don't want to derail from that goal. You have to stay focused on that goal, not a should, not that should, not that should, on the goal. Um, so I wanted to use this example because I think everybody at some point in their lives has been on some sort of fitness journey, whether it's, you know, um, eating healthier, you wanna, you know, lose some weight, you wanna see better numbers when you go to the doctor's office, whatever it is, most people have been through something like that. So um, a little bit about me and my journey with this. So I've always, you know, been in shape. I've always eaten healthy. I've always exercised. Um, but when I was 26, I broke my back. And that made it a huge, huge struggle to be able to maintain, you know, how I want to feel. I want to feel strong. I want to be able to just go out and go for a walk. Um, I wanted to be able to run around and play with, you know, my future kids who are here now. Um, there were certain things that I knew I wanted in my life and breaking my back was a major dent in maintaining that goal. So, um, you know, one of the things I've had to do and I'm 41 now, you know, I, clearly I don't look 26 anymore. Although I like to tell people I'm 26 because then they get a really weird look on their face like, oh, oh, should I tell her she doesn't look 26? Does she look 26? Is she, is she being silly? Um, I'm being silly. I really am 41. So it's been a while since I broke my back. Um, but, and I've had kids since then. And, you know, all of those sort, sort of things have been a challenge for me. But I knew that I wanted to maintain my health. I knew that I wanted to stay in shape. Um, so there have been things that I've changed over the years, you know, let's try this workout, let's do this. And I had to adapt to 
you know, my back and I had to adapt to the challenges that that presented because, you know, it changed how I had to function. Um, it's just something that happens. And there are always things that happen along the way. Um, I've talked to people before who said, yeah, I'm working on my book. And then all of a sudden they had a baby or, um, you know, their husband got laid off or they decided, you know what, we're going to go on vacation for, for a month or whatever it is. There are things that pop up in your life, good and bad. And you have to look at them and say, okay, I can address this, but I also need to make sure that I am still working toward my goal. So, um, the most important part of that is to know where you are to be able to know how you can move forward. So if you get, you know, if you're, if you're uh, working on your story, let's say you're working on your book and you get a few chapters in and then you suddenly have, you know, a health issue come up or you suddenly say, you know what, I got this opportunity and I'm going to go, you know, study with so-and-so or I'm going to go um, work in the field somewhere. That'll, that'll be a cool experience. Sometimes we have these opportunities and we have to say, all right, is, is this going to derail my goal? Is this going to delay my goal? And we have to decide if that's okay. Cause if that's okay, great, great. Um, but if it's not okay that it's delaying or derailing your goal, you have to make sure that you are setting aside another time to write. You have to make sure that you're saying, okay, where, where am I balancing things? Um, how can I adjust because I still want to reach that goal, but I'm getting blown off course right now, right? Um, and somebody I talked to last night actually said, oh shoot, what was it? <laughs> um, I, I just thought of something that I wanted to talk about. Um, but you know, you have to keep that goal in mind. And you know, I've talked to people before who are like, oh, I remember, um, you know, I have little kids. How am I going to carve out the time? Or I have a full-time job. How am I going to carve out the time? Um, the phrase carve out the time makes it sound like you are gouging out time from something else. So you always have to remember that you have the time for the things that you truly want in your life. So if you're looking at your day and you're saying, you know what, I need to carve out time Think of it this way. Think of yourself as, um, instead of carving out the time, like you're taking it from something, um, think about it as, you know, what, what am I going to, to adjust? What am I gonna give? What can I give? Um, there are certain things I could give. If I decided that I really wanted to work on a book right now, what could I give? Well, I could do a couple mornings a week where I just do a quick shower, pull my hair up, and don't do makeup that's fine. And I've been actually doing that to be able to have more time with my kids. But if my book was my goal, then maybe I would do it that way. You know, okay, I don't need to be fancy. I like being fancy. That's just me. Um, I don't need to be fancy today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to be on video. I'm not seeing clients. Maybe that's what I need to do. Just get up, you know, exercise, shower, bun my hair, not worry about it. That's extra time. That's an extra, you know, half hour or whatever two days a week. Um, maybe it's something more like, oh, you know, you're spending a lot of time on social media. Um, we all spend probably too much time on social media, but if that's something that you can say, you know what, I've been really spending time here. How can I adjust? How can I change it over? Or, you know, things that actually kind of double your time. If you have a commute, um, you know, a lot of people listen to podcasts, uh, some people actually just turn on the recorder on their phone, think about a topic and just go on it. And when you do that, here you've got all this great information that you can use to work on your story. Hi, Caroline. Thanks for joining me. Um, so yeah, so those are lots of things that you can do so you don't derail your goal. Because when that book is a major part of your, you know, your business plan, if that's something you really wanna get done, you need to think about how you can adjust your day, think about how you can keep that goal in mind, um, and keep moving forward. Because I don't wanna see anyone have a dream and then not push toward that dream. Um, because that's silly, right? If we're not pushing toward our dreams, then we're just kind of, you know, swaying in the wind, just kind of hanging out here. Um, you know, there are plenty of things that you can look at and say, 
yeah, I can tweak this. I can adjust this. I can make, you know, part of my half hour bedtime routine could be 20 minutes of me just talking into my phone about a certain topic. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Caroline. Um, you know, there, there are different ways you can look at it, whether it's doubling your time or whether it's saying, you know what, I really don't need to, um, you know, binge watch another Netflix show this weekend. I, I want to take an hour or two hours or three hours, whatever feels good to you. And I want to work on that story. So if you've been looking at it, like, I feel like I'm getting off of my goal. I really want to share my story. I really want to write my book. You know, put something in the comments. Give me a commitment. What are you going to adjust? What are you going to shift? You know, I don't want to use the phrase carve out time because that just reminds me of people, you know, doing too much stuff. You don't want to carve the time out. You're not a tree. You're not like gouging out a piece of you to make a stool or something. Um, you have the time. It's just how are you using it? So put something in the comments. Tell me how you're going to make the time for it. And I will, uh, I'll respond. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.